Hey guys, uh, I hope that you guys are doing uh, fine. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, configure reporting services point in SCCM current branch. I would, uh, I, I, I would go ahead and uh, quickly download uh, SQL Server 2019 reporting services. The link for that one is uh, in the description of this video so that you guys can download it too. It used to be bundled up with uh, SQL Server Management Studio, but Microsoft start putting a separate installer for reporting services now. So the link is in the description. You can just go ahead and download it from there. Uh, once uh, I have the installer, then I'm gonna install SQL Server 2019 reporting services on SQL Server, which as you already know that uh, this uh, that I have SQL uh, installed on a separate uh, uh, Separate, separate machine than the SCCM server. Uh, then I will uh, log into SCCM01 and add the reporting services point. Uh, I will do the verification uh, through the logs and the name of the logs are srspmsi.log and srspsetup.log. Then I would verify that uh, all of the reports uh, are uh, accessible through the browser. And then I will also verify the installation uh, of the reporting uh, in the SCCM console too. And the reason why you need to have this uh, setup in the SCCM is so that you, whatever the deployments that you are doing, or there are any kind of other functions that you are performing and you need the report uh, for that, uh, that's the whole purpose of the reporting is. There are so many uh, reports that are, uh, you're going to find them that they are out of the box that are already built in. And then you could also create the custom reports. This video is not going to be about creating any kind of reports. It is only on uh, configuring the reporting services point. So let's get started. So I'm just going to uh, RDP into uh, SQL Server real quick. I have already downloaded the source file for SQL uh, Server Reporting Services. Uh, that's right here. So double click or right click and run as admin. Click yes. And that's SQL Server and the background is red as I've mentioned in the previous videos too. So that you guys can know which machine I'm actually working in. Install, uh, uh, click on install reporting services. Uh, evaluation is for 180 days and you could also use developer too if you plan on just using for the development purposes. So I'm just gonna go with the uh, evaluation. Accept the license, click next. Install uh, reporting services only. Leave it as is and click next. Uh, for the lab purpose, I mean, you could install it on a different location too, but I'm just gonna leave it as uh, default, click install. So this one is only installing the reporting services. It's not configuring right now. So once it's installed, then I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna configure it. So general good practice is that uh, it's good to, after you install it, just reboot your machine and then come back and try to configure it because it uh, uh, it works much better. But for this lab purpose, I'm just gonna go ahead and just click configure report server. Leave everything default. Uh, it should populate your SQL Server uh, 01. If you are following my lab, it would be SQL 01. But if you have changed the name, then it should uh, put that uh, name of the server. Leave uh, the report server instant as uh, default. I'm not gonna change it. Uh, and uh, press connect. Once you are uh, on uh, uh, this page, uh, leave everything uh, default. You just want to make sure that the service is running, that it is started. Then click on the service account. This is uh, the account that would actually uh, 
run the service. So I have configured, if you watch the previous video when I installed and configured the SQL itself, uh, I had created a new domain account, which was a, a SQL service account. So that's the one that I'm going to use because that's the account that I'm using to run all of the other services that are related to SQL too. So I'm just going to uh, populate that account. This BB Tech is the domain. Uh, and it's uh, SVC underscore SQL1. That's the account name that I had created. Awesome password. And then click apply. It's just going to go verify that the account is good. So this is good. Then click on the web service URL. And that's the virtual directory that the system would uh, create once I'm going to press the apply. Uh, since uh, and I'm going to leave everything default for this lab purpose. The URL for the report uh, web services would uh, be basically HTTP uh, name of the server slash report server. And this uh, uh, colon 80 is the port 80. That's what it's showing right now. So I'm just going to leave everything as default. If you want to change the name of the virtual directory, you can. Um, and if you are changing it, obviously, it's going to change the URL too. Just just if you just look at it, I'm just going to add a few characters to it and the URL is changing. But I, I will leave everything default though. Report server, apply. All right, uh, everything is good here. The task completed successfully, no issues. And uh, select database. This is where, uh, and then uh, click on the change database. Create a new report server database. Click next. SQL server and the account uh, that I'm gonna use is uh, sc underscore admin. Ideally, you want to create a separate account that does that is a domain account but it does not have too many rights. But for this lab purpose, I'm, since I've been using uh, sc underscore admin all across, so I'm just gonna leave everything default. Uh, test connection, make sure everything is working. Click okay, click next. This is uh, the name uh, of the database. Uh, leave everything default. Uh, if you wanna change the language, you can change the language for you. But for me, everything is fine. Click next. And uh, this is the account that uh, is basically showing, uh, which I have selected earlier. So you could see BB Tech, click next, uh, and uh, that's BB Tech is the domain, and SVC underscore SQL1 is the credentials that it would be using. Click next. Uh, that's a quick summary of the accounts that is being using. What is the name of the uh, instant? Uh, what's the name of the server? Um, all that stuff and that it, it is also going to create a tab db2 and that's the name of the that uh, database click next everything is all good click finish Then click on web portal URL and you should see the URL for, for the, the reports, uh, where they would be available. So that would be the same, uh, the one that we saw earlier here too. All we gotta do is now basically publish them. So publish this uh, portal. So just do apply and you would see the link is gonna get enabled. So there are other cool things that you could do, which uh, for this lab purpose, I'm not going to do it. You could also set up the emails. If some things are wrong, the alerts could be sent. Uh, execution account is another one. I'm not gonna go into these encryption keys, subscription settings. There are some more nifty things that could be done, but since this is a basic tutorial, I'm not gonna go into them uh, for now. For now, we are done with uh, the configuration of uh, the report uh, reporting server. 
And what you could do is you could also just if you click on this, you could just verify if things are working. You should it should uh, open up a page and it would have a version of uh, the uh, as as you can see right here that that page is shown. There are some more information that you could potentially see uh, about help. Uh, you can get the version of this, like few other things here and there. So this this kind of indicates that this is uh, working. The other thing that you also want to test this, if especially you have uh, this one installed on uh, SQL is on a different server before you want to install, just go on to a different machine within the domain, uh, which I have a test one, or even I could just take this uh, this URL and try to run it through uh, SCCM zero uh, one and see if, if the page pops up. If it does, it's all good. If it doesn't, then something is wrong. Something is blocking it or it's not published properly. So I'm just gonna uh, 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 minimize uh, SQL 01 and I will RDP into now uh, SCCM 01 uh, and uh, install the, uh, the reporting uh, point on that. So here I am in SCCM 01. It's going to launch the SCCM console. And um, to add any new role, uh, go on to administration. Say similar to all of the other roles that I have uh, added in the past too. Uh, click on site configuration, server uh, uh, and site system roles. And one thing I want to mention over here, you probably would not see it on many places where it's documented too. When you are adding this reporting role, you are not adding, if it depends, uh, if you have SCCM and SQL on the same, same machine, uh, then it's fine. You're just going to have, you're just going to see only SCCM. Uh, but if you are installing the uh, SQL on a different, uh, uh, different machine in this case uh, I have that you are going to install this role on SQL uh, machine if you try to install it on this you would run into problem you're not gonna be able to see a uh, the uh, SSRS uh, option when uh, you are trying to call for it so uh, you, you will see I'm gonna explain it to you what when we get to that dialog box so I'm going to add on SQL 01, right click and add site system roles. Leave everything as default, click next. No proxy is being used, so click next. The role that I'm interested in is um, reporting service point, click next. This is what I'm talking about. So if you see just the way it, it went and checked and it auto-populated SSRS, if, if you have the server that is selected, which is SCCM01, uh, it's not gonna work for you. It will just, you, you could verify this successfully and as soon as it's gonna ask for the database uh, name, obviously you're gonna have to change that name because it's not configured. It, there is no way you could just get beyond the screen. So make sure if you have SQL installed on a different server, then the role needs to be installed on that server. Um, right here, um, the user that uh, under username, just click on existing user. And I already have SC underscore admin, click okay. Click next. That's the summary, click next. That's looking good, it's all green, click close. And now if uh, you click on monitoring and look into the a component uh, status, we should have that uh, component added, uh, which is, uh, I'm just gonna type report. And that's the one, um, it's still showing uh, the warning icon, maybe it's still trying to, to connect and grab some more information uh, because uh, the minute it probably got, uh, if let's look at it. It's probably pegging the uh, SQL database. That's why it's showing that. Yeah, you see, there is nothing here. Uh, there is, it's 
trying to hit the database and trying to pull the reports, that's why there is a warning. Once it's going to completely get synced, uh, this warning is going to go away and it's going to turn green. So, oh, and I should see if you click on uh, also uh, re uh, reporting and then reports, you should see some reports starting to pop up. Yeah, right here. And that shows that, that this is working. I mean, we could create on one of the report if, if you want. Uh, and just, just simply take a look at it if the system is generating the reports. As you could see, uh, that's report. And obviously, uh, how to run these reports, uh, create some custom reports, and how to export them. Uh, I would create a separate tutorial on that one. Um, also, the other way uh, I had mentioned that I'm just going to verify the URL too, that the, the reports were or could be seen. Um, you could just click on this uh, uh, link here. This is the same link, the one that we configured. As you could see, these are uh, the reports that are available. You could just take down further and they could be shared. The membership could be allowed to different people in the organization as, uh, as long as they have the Active Directory account you could assign them uh, different permissions. They could do different things with these reports. And the level of reports, the one that you want to control, that they have access to, that could be managed and, and be made available to, to those users. I hope that uh, you like this video. Uh, please leave the comments. If you have any questions, you could also uh, uh, ping me on Instagram. I do have a new Instagram. It's at uh, bb.tech. Um, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to sub sub subscribe because I'm going to add many more uh, videos. Thank you so much wherever you are. Peace.